Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nusha Hira binti Abu Bakar. My number metric is 262047. I'm from Group 7 and today I will present my parts about introduction of employees performance management. The concept of employees performance management has now gained even the importance since many drivers have been identified impacting employees performance and well-being at the workplace. As companies strive to survive and rise above the stiff competition, employees' physical and mental well-being will be one of the important aspects that HR managers need to focus. Employees' performance management is about aligning the organization objective with the employees' agree measures, skill, competency requirement, development plans, and delivery of the result. The way employees' performance impacted the organization uh, is divided into two. The first one is internal and the second is at the external factor. A positive relationship can be seen between employees' performance and the organizational performance. Successful employees will drive to achieve the organization goal and increase their profits. I will continue with the challenges in managing employees' performance. The first challenge is employees' dissatisfaction due to the unfair decision in making assessment. Employees will feel dissatisfied if individual performance employees are not measured accurately due to the several factors such as bias and appraisal don't have the necessary knowledge. This will cause employees not to follow the actual objective of the company. Employees will lose trust in the organization even if the employees' performance appraisal are conducted using formal uh, appraisal following a set of standards. Moreover, employees in public and private sector will be dissatisfied when it exists subjectivity in performance appraisal. The second challenge is poor rating system. When conducting the evaluation process, rating error may occur. In this instance, the evaluation team may discover inconsistencies as a result of incorrect rating provided. A clear rating system results in employees being assessed is accurately. Uh, which has a significant impact on the uh, rating given. Another potential issue is the lack of the funding necessary to complete the evaluation process. The next challenge is different workplace. This way has been implemented in all organizations to prevent COVID-19 from separating, especially at the workplace. The company cannot identify its workers' performance. When this situation happens, management cannot find a solution if any problem occur when the employees do their work. HR department cannot assess the employee's performance accurately because they cannot see the truly happiness by the employee. The fourth challenge is unclear objective and task. Some employees work on multiple jobs with different teams, which can cause the confused or more employees about what they want to do. Employees are confused and their productivity is affected uh, due to the lack of clarity about their role and responsibility. The last challenge is ignore change management in system implementation. This is because Malaysian current situation has forced many organizations to change their management to survive in crisis and pandemics. For example, the company needs to change its uh, working method to the working remotely, but some employees refuse to adapt the changes and uh, do not manage their tasks. At the same time, communication is a major intervention when working remotely, but it is challenges to ensure that working stay productive and follow the new procedure. I will pass to the next presenter. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi. My name is Raja Nur Alia binti Raja Malik Ridwan, metric number 281133 are going to discuss about our group finding on interview session that we have conducted for this group project. Public Mutual Berhad is Malaysia's number one private unit trust company and private retirement scheme PRS provider. It is a wholly owned subsidiary of Public Bank. Through an interview with Mr. Muhammad Hafiz, a group agency manager of Public Mutual Bank, we learned several things uh, including how Mr. Muhammad Hafiz manage the individuals who work under him during this pandemic COVID-19. Mr. Muhammad Hafiz is from Petalin Jaya, Selangor. He has over 15 years of experience in the banking and finance industry. He is, uh, he is also a financial consultant who supervise, manage and oversee 73 active consultants who work under him. His organization's uh, structure is a straightforward type and a straightforward type of system which is those who work under him report any difficulties in, uh, immediately to him. The first question that we ask him is what is your industry goals for future and how do you plan to achieve them? Mr. Hafiz stated that the industry goals are broad in scope and no precise uh, plans have been established. The goals are dependent on their purpose and objective as a financial consultant. 
the organization's goal is to promote a shariah based unit trust fund because uh, many people are suffering financial uh, difficulties due to COVID-19 outbreak. Thereby, their goal is to assist individuals in managing their finance and to educate uh, them on the need of future savings in order to minimize financial difficulties in the future. Basically, the organization's uh, goals are to help people in terms of finance and those target pe uh, people are the ones who approach the organization to seek help. The second question that we ask him is, what is the example of performance uh, issues occurring in your industry as the head of the unit trust group at the public bank? According to Mr. Hafiz, there are two factors that drive the occurrence of performance issues in the work group he leads, namely employees who accept change and employees who resist change. The first performance issue is the lack of confidence in management. This is because of a change in the way work is done during the, uh, this pandemic. Employees will feel less confident, especially for employees who are older and do not have the knowledge to use the internet in carrying out uh, the task. Most employees are not confident to be able to attract customers through the mass uh, media because uh, they have difficulty interacting in, and this results in their ability in selling the product. The next, is, uh, the next issue is that employees are always late and do not meet uh, set working hours. Uh, some employees take the opportunity to enter late meetings because the internet line in their residential uh, areas is low. The third performance issue is uh, that occurs in this industry is too much time spent doing personal things at home. By the time COVID-19 had taken place, uh, the government had uh, prescribed work from home. Therefore, this issue arises because the employee is unable to concentrate on the job as it is influenced uh, by the surrounding circumstances such as internet disruption and family disruption. Uh, not performing a given job well is also one of the performance issues that occur in this industry. Uh, online work as okay. Online work as a has further strained uh, relationships between employees, and some half of them do not cooperate to perform uh, group tasks. The last performance issue uh, that was shared by Mr. Hafiz in this uh, industry is resistance to change. Some employees in his uh, group did not accept change uh, in employee performance as a result of the effects of COVID-19. Some employees do not directly accept the change of work situation and just retreat without doing the work. Therefore, employees who reject these changes will face pressure and lack in performing the assigned work. The third question is what are the current trends used in managing or maintaining good performance management in your industry? Mr. Hafiz stated that the first current trend that he used in his company is remote working. In this pandemic era, remote working is one of the common things that have been used by all the companies to make sure that their business is running as usual, even the employee did not need to be at the office. Mr. Hafiz, uh, Mr. Hafiz shares that they now have a lot of employees that work from home. He also shares that now he can hire a lot of employees from all the states in Malaysia. This current trend really helps his business to run smoothly. The second trend that Mr. Hafiz implements uh, in performance management is always expecting change. Uh, with the increasing case of COVID-19 in Malaysia, every company needs to be prepared for any changes that need to be done, especially in maintaining good performance management. Our manager uh, needs to be ready to change the new norm of work and their attitude to make sure that they can compete in this pandemic. It is important that every people in the company change their attitude to be more positive to make sure all the employees get the success and goal that need to be accomplished. Uh, the third trend that has been used by Mr. Office in managing good employee performance is conducting virtual training for all the employees. Due to, due to COVID-19, a new way of training uh, needs to be conducted to make sure that employee performance can be increased. To reach this goal, a uh, company needs to do uh, training virtually to make sure that every employee has uh, their training even throughout virtual. Uh, Mr. Hafiz said that his company now give training to the employees virtually through online platforms such as WebEx, Google, uh, Google Meet and more others. The last trend that has been uh, done by Mr. Hafiz is trans transparency in leadership. To become a good leader, the skill of honesty and transparency will be the most valued leadership 
rates in years to come. He said that engaging with the downline increase is one of the most efficient ways to increase motivation and increase the downline performance. Mr. Hafiz also said that he just only give tasks uh, to his downline and from the task he sees uh, does the downline do the task or not and how the task has been finished. Based on the result that uh, the downline give to him, help him to assess the downline performance. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nafrati Madi Omar Razi, metric number 262009. I will continue our presentation on finding in interview session. Number four, what is the process used to initiate layoff? Surprisingly, COVID-19 has great advantage to the financial services that Encik Muhammad Hafiz involved. The company has no layoff, otherwise able to attain new workers. This is because Encik Omar Hafiz practice work for home working method, which is there are low, min low minimum cost need to, uh, to attend the works. So Encik Omar Hafiz able to recruit more than 40 potential employees from over the country. Let's move on to the question number five, which is what is the best approach in managing today employees' performance? We asked Encik Muhammad Hafiz about their practices in their organization that used to evaluate employees' performance. So, from the interview, we got that Encik Muhammad Hafiz is prefer to use a behavior approach because he said result is a subjective matter. So, to him, he will more looking toward behavior assembled by the employees in completing their tasks. There are three factors that Encik Hafiz highlight when evaluating the employee, which is good mindset, active participation, and attitude. He explained result is important, but uh, it is not the main method that he looking for. Because if the other three things, okay, result will come. With the with result will come as well as the at the last question we asked Encik Muhammad Hafiz is how you evaluate the employee's behavior when working remotely. As we know, many of the organization nowadays practice working remotely. Encik Muhammad Hafiz explained that uh, from the job duty given to the employee, he will evaluate the performance based on time taken by the employees to submit and complete the task. Uh, somehow, he will evaluate the employee's initiative to participate and give the best result instead of head-hearted in doing the job. So, uh, other than that, he will, will observe the employees based on coursework, task completion, note taken during class and training session. Chiwa Mahafiz uh, execute that if the attitude and mindset is always encouraged to change, learn and extract good things, uh, it will increase the performance of the employees. Hello, my name is Muhammad Nafidul Ben Sharif. My metric number is 26406. Okay, now I present about new way of managing employees' performance. The first way is by behavioral uh, approach. The behavioral approach is the most uh, frequently used. It is a process-oriented uh, approach that focuses on how an employee does uh, their work. Uh, this behavioral approach uh, is appropriate when there is no clear link between behaviors and results. Outcome or performance are uh, far in the future and results are not in the employer's control. Uh, the employees must directly uh, explain expected behavior at the beginning of their employment. Uh, this approach keeps uh, track of various parameters uh, including uh, employee certification, then overrate and span of control. Uh, it helps uh, to link the performance with the achievement of goals. It may make uh, the management make a smart decision and monitor the organizational uh, goals better and easier because it is uh, dependable and accurate appropriate uh, performance appraisal uh, leads to employee certification which may help the organizational uh, grow. Okay, for the next uh, way to uh, managing employee performance is uh, by real-time feedback. One of the best way approach in managing today's em uh, employee per performance is practicing uh, real-time feedback uh, compared to traditional uh, annual ratings. The current development of modernization force employees and managers uh, to 
adapt to changes uh, in performance evaluation particularly other than digitalization the current new work King method since pandemic through work from home or online has made a barrier to the manager to determine employee's performance. Uh, this is due to the different location and limited physical access among the workers. Uh, there are several advantage of real-time feedback such as uh, being uh, full of subjectivity, giving clear insight, uh, instant uh, feedback or improvements, more accurate data, easy and inexpensive. Uh, through this approach, uh, employers uh, can provide a regular meeting and training to all level of employees that will save more time, energy and cost uh, to the company. The third way uh, managing employee performance is uh, by set goals. Uh, the process of deciding on set of objectives to achieve over a period of time is known as goal setting. Uh, individual employee performance goals should uh, ideally match with organizational uh, objectives. When defining goals, it's critical that they reflect the company culture and what people can reasonably accomplish. In managing to the employee's performance, one also can look at the department prior for performance, identify area for development and try to quantify the increase in performance that one wants to achieve. Uh, these objectives are simple to convert into KPIs and are ideal for effective performance management. Uh, job description goals, uh, project goals, behavioral goals, and stretch goals are examples of common sort of goals. Uh, it's uh, critical to set the proper goals also if you want to make sure you have the right individuals on the team. Finally, effective uh, goals should involve everyone to ensure comprehension and commitment both the manager and the person should be involved in the establishment of goals. Hi, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh and a very good day to all viewers. My name is Muhammad Amirul Mustaqim Beramdi. My metric number 264263. And today I will continue our presentation about uh, the best approach for us to use in managing employee performance. So, the fourth step that we can use to manage the employee performance is communicate plan, coach and challenge employee. It is a common for all companies in an organizations to create a goal that they want to reach. Every goal set up based on what they think need to be reached in order to maintain their organizations. Each goal that they create needs to plan to achieve it. It is important to create a good planning to reach the goal. A good plan without a good communication about the plan also without coaching and challenges to an employee is wasteful. Traditional employee performance sees that there are lots of employees that who cannot help the organizations to reach the goal due to bad communication in the organizations especially on the plan to reach the goal and the, and the organization did not give coaching to the employee to perform their job. Using data visualization is a new way to give employee more understanding. Using technology in a presentations like PowerPoint, poster and more other tools help to give more understanding than using an old school method such as memo and thing like proposal. Infographics truly make employees interested to see and it help them to understand. Business intelligence software will help HR to share reports or KPI progress in a manner that can easily be understood by non-technical user. Beside communicate plan, uh, ev every employee need to coach their employer, employee to make sure that all the workers can do their job based on what the company want them to do. Without a coaching from the organization, employee cannot do their job and also uh, an organization need to challenge the employee to make sure they are uh, always be motivated to do their job. Next is keep the big picture in employee's mind. Employee need to give a big picture 
uh, to their employees so that link them with company business objective. A big picture in each employee of the company's objective will cause the employee to know better why something needs to happen, whether it is really necessary and how it can happen. This has to happen because workers are not machines and they are driven by desires, thoughts and ambitions. It can help the company to see opportunity that need to be improved and it brings a big picture display that needs to be presented to the entire team. This can strengthen the company's performance management because it is related to the activities that will be done by the employees every day. The big picture can help employers to avoid the occurrence of changing priorities and avoid endless stress among the steps that can be done to give a big picture in employees to contribute better ideas and feel more connected is gamification, being a translator, mentoring circles, and providing clarity around where company needs great ideas. In conclusions, a performance management is a continuous process, not once a year event. Effective performance management will be critical in ensuring that design of efforts in areas such as compensations are supported and executed successfully. Additionally, it will assess disciplinary dismissal and appeal rights the performance manager management team will ensure that the organization has adopted the most effective performance management techniques by evaluating existing procedure in all employ employment case offering the best solutions. That's all for me. Thank you.